staying on this topic, but leaving Spotify behind, um, the badges and um, fan funding is coming to Instagram uh, on Instagram Live. So you're going to have to purchase your own badges, which you can send to creators to support right. them, which is obviously a good thing. Obviously, it's been done on TikTok a lot, and now it's coming to Instagram for Live. So they've, sat, they've actually put out some interesting stats so that there's been a 70% increase in views of live streams between, from February to March, which is obviously mm. massive. Obviously, yeah. obviously, COVID's got a massive part to play now, but 70% is still huge. Um, right. so how this is going to work is that badges will appear next to a person's name throughout the live video. So fans who have bought these badges will stand out in the comments. And then um, they also apparently unlock additional features, including placement on a creator's list of badge holders. So they'll be able to have some more engagement with the actual creator while supporting them. And they're going to start rolling out the, the the badges with a small group of creators and businesses over the coming months, mainly I think in the US right now, but it's going to roll out to Brazil, UK, Germany, France, Italy, elsewhere as well. But right. they're starting to dabble now in this fan funding, which I think is a very good thing. Yeah. I mean, typically I would look at something like this as like just trying to keep up and not be able to do it well because your users aren't trained for it all right it's, it's, it's not the useful audience on instagram as much anymore um but i don't think that applies here because one a lot of tiktokers are still on instagram exactly and they have exactly. those audience there mm -hmm. and then two i think there's still enough celebrity incentive when it comes to instagram that if people do it enough like people want that attention from those people. So it is all, it has a relation to get more attention from those people and things like that. I can see over time this becoming a part of the platform, like a norm of the platform. Exactly. See people get donations while you're in lives and stuff. And I see your point about, you know, it's not the same audience to TikTok, for example, but that's why I brought up the fact that it's grown by the live stream viewers by 70%. That's probably a lot of first time mm -hmm. viewers that have experienced this and now becoming more familiar with the live streaming. Yep. So, so therefore they would, they would adopt this because they're very new to it themselves. Yeah. Yeah. The other news on Instagram is that IGTV is now going to have adverts for the first time. So they're yeah. going to start rolling out that, but obviously IGTV has got a long way to go right now. It's uh, never really kicked off as they hoped, um, but they are now going to start running ads for up to 15 seconds going to start testing it in the US and Canada in closed beta over the next... They're going to start running... Months. Oh, okay. Never mind. I get it. Ads on the videos for up to... Yeah, yeah. Seconds. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that... We'll see how that goes. But obviously, RGTV's... You know, started out as its own app, moved into Instagram, then tried to improve the own the individual app. And now, I just, I just don't know where it's at now, like, in terms of how many people use it. Yeah, yeah. It goes... If they're they're trying to make it work however they do it. And I do know well, I uh knew and predicted it that yeah, IGT people will have ads just because man, it was it's been a year or two, but like for one, when I started having things that I uploaded and I could see the the content ID system try to block certain things on, on Instagram, mm -hmm. like, oh okay, they're developing a content ID system. Yes. What is that for, right? That that's that's just the predecessor to a system that you know that to be able to support um, ads in that way. All right, and then also Facebook, ad, Facebook. You've been able to monetize shows and content on Facebook for a while, and you know those two are the back and forth. IG, IG creates a feature, and then it gets thrown on the Facebook, and Facebook gets creates a feature or two that gets thrown on the IG. So it was pretty clear to me for a while that that was going to happen. And I don't think now that it has happened based on the climate that it's really exciting people, but like they yeah. might want. It's the network.